Brushed my hair, went downstairs Favorite jeans on my rear And I looked up in my mirror And I said, who's that there? Who's that there? In that mirror if it is your first time here, my name is Rose. On today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on studying your professional wardrobe. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then definitely stay tuned. So my first advice is simple. What's considered professional in one office is not going to be the same in a different office. You really have to assess the situation at hand and try to get what the office culture is in the environment that you're working in. Is the office culture or the vibe more chill, more relaxed, everyone's just, um, you know, friendly and personable and things like that? Or is the office more conservative and everyone's kind of like at their own office and it's pretty quiet? Like, depending on that, the way that you wear, what you wear is going to be different. So if you work in a pretty lax setting, then you might not always have to be in a blazer and slacks every single workday. Whereas if you work in like banking, and finance and those types of fields where it's really conservative then your office culture or the the office uniform is gonna be like grays and navy blues and blacks and really conservative and buttoned up and more restrictive in how you can dress so you just have to keep that in mind so if you're going on an interview and you're being interviewed in the place that you're gonna work in you can just look around and see what is everyone else wearing so if everyone else is really super conservative, then the next day that you come in or your start date, you don't want to come in like completely different from everybody. You saw everybody else in grays and blues and those types of colors and you come in in orange or whatever the case may be. You want to kind of follow that office uniform or that office culture. If you're not being in an interviewed in the place that you're going to work in, then use your common sense. If you know that you're going to work in a field that, you know, that you've seen every okay for example if you know that you're go, you're this is your first job in a law office using common sense even if you're not being interviewed in the office that you're going to work in you know that lawyers are usually dressed in slacks and button ups and blazers and things like that so you shouldn't come the next day in jeans and wonder why people are looking at you you feel me my second tip is to not feel like you have to buy everything at once you're building Building takes is, is something that's done over time. It's not something that's one, two, three. So you don't have to feel like you need to have an amazing wardrobe just starting off. The longer you are in your field, the more money that you're making, your wardrobe is going to grow naturally, unless you're like me and you don't buy clothes ever. But yeah, if you're buying clothes consistently, if you know that you're making a decent income where you can set aside a budget for getting new clothes every month, then your wardrobe will grow grow gradually so you don't need to feel like you need to spend five hundred a thousand dollars your first week at the job just to get professional clothes my third tip um, goes back to the second one which is as far as money and not spending too much so places like H&M places like Forever 21 Zara those kinds of places you're able to find clothes that are considered professional without having to break the buck break the bank break the bus without having to break the bank so you can find really affordable clothes that will last you a decent amount of time maybe like two to three months um and it, and that's just to start your wardrobe so like i said before as you make more as you earn more then definitely you can take yourself to places like neiman marcus bloomingdale's places that are a little bit more expensive but you get better quality you're of course eventually are working yourself to that but starting out h&m has a great amount of blazers and things that can be worn in an office in most office settings and yeah I think that's all I have to say about that so my third tip is to before anything look at your wardrobe even though you may feel like oh I've never worked in an office setting I've only worked in retail I've only worked in um, fast food so I don't have anything you might be surprised. There's certain things that's not gonna write, like, I'll say this, there's certain things, depending on how you pair it, it'll make it look more professional. So you can have a certain dress that, if you wear it by itself, it just looks like, okay, whatever. But if you throw in a blazer over it and you put some, like, some professional, like, pumps, four inches and below, with it, it can make it look really, 
it could just make make it look more professional so don't feel like you have nothing try to just use your imagination especially if you're trying to save money instead of spending putting a huge amount of money towards just getting new things look in your wardrobe and see if you has if you have certain things that can just be paired off with something else to make it look more professional so my next advice is to really focus on getting your bases when I say bases I mean like your bottoms your bottoms your uh, your slacks your, sh your skirts and your blazers things that like are the main parts of your outfit and then getting like different blouses and different cutesy tops that you can put on and make and elevate the look or make the look look different okay let me give you an example because I don't know if I'm making sense so let's say if you get yourself three slacks right one navy blue one black one gray you can choose different colors I my wardrobe is a lot of grays and black and kind of like more low-key because I just I don't know I don't know why I just like that but that's just how I dress so if you get like three slacks and three blazers but get a whole bunch of different tops then you can mix and match the blazers and the bottoms and the shirts to make your wardrobe a lot bigger than it is instead of getting like you know instead of getting one pair of slacks but a whole bunch of different shirts you get what I'm saying as far as like focusing on your base getting things that you can pair off with that are basically getting things that are versatile that's, that's what I'm trying to get focus on getting things that are versatile and then as you earn more get things that are more standout pieces and you can pair it off with the things that you already have and make your wardrobe look a lot bigger so my next advice goes back to budgeting because and I'm focusing a lot on budgeting because if you're just starting in a new position just keep in mind that it's going to take a while before you start getting paid. Usually in places that I work, it takes about three to four weeks to get on payroll, to start getting paid. So you don't want to spend all the little money that you have because it's going to take a while for you to start getting paid on a consistent basis. So you really need to buy super expensive clothes starting out because they're going to last you just the right amount of time that you need before maybe you gain some weight or before your style changes or before you start making earning more and you want to go into Neiman Marcus or Bloomingdale's or anywhere else that's expensive that I probably wouldn't know um yeah so you don't need to buy super expensive clothes especially if you can get it at H&M at a great value as far as shoes I don't think shoes is something that you really should skimp on because you're on your feet like you're gonna be walking in those shoes right so you don't want to be walking in a pair of cheap heels and then they break on you and instead of going to like H&M or Forever 21 to get a pair of flats it might be better to go to Aldo's or DSW although those flats may cost a little more they will probably last you a lot long a lot longer than a pair of flats from H&M and my last advice is as far as accessories um, like bags and jewelry and things like that those are uh, those are some other things that can really complete your look but you don't have to spend a lot forever 21 like I said before Burlington Coat Factory Marshalls places like that have a lot of designer handbags for um, cheaper prices which of course you already know I think some really important pieces like accessories that you should have that will make that will um, elevate your professional wardrobe are watches I really 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 love watches they're my favorite accessories I feel like watches automatically make you look more professional like I don't know if it's just me I just feel like when you wear a watch like you see I'm wearing this watch don't you wanna don't you feel like I'm more trustworthy like I know what I'm talking about so those were my advice I hope you were able to learn something new if not learn something new maybe reinforce something that you may have already thought was the way to go I if it if you're watching this video or if you're starting a professional wardrobe because you just got a new position then congratulations if you're just watching this video to support then thanks um, I know I'm really sporadic and when I upload I'm trying to get better but you know this is a learning process so I hope you guys don't are too like upset with me whatever the case may be so anyways that's the entire video thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on my channel bye